Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out what sort of moron goes camping. This is Mickey Flanagan. Let's go. Often my wife will make a decision with no consultation. She just does it. <laughs> she came in about a year ago. She said, by the way, we're going camping next year. I said, oh, fuck off, will ya? <laughs> sort of a moron goes camping. <laughs> Apparently the lower middle classes again, yeah. Yeah, let's go and live like refugees for a week. That'll be fine. <laughs> There's a reason houses are so popular. <laughs> Bathroom, telly, bed, kitchen. Oh no, let's give all that up and go and live like homeless people, shall we? <laughs> we sleep on this mattress that keeps going down. Keeps flattening and... You lay there, you wake up in the morning, your face is pushed against earth, you know, the light comes in early, spiders crawling all over you. After a couple of days, you're just broken, you're just walking about. <laughs> you're doing that hospital yeah, walk, yeah. you know that hospital. I've never gone camping, I, just, I feel like I probably only do it to bond, whilst to bond with my kids or something like that, yeah. But just to do it for having fun, maybe not. Just for, for the experience. But it's not something I'll be doing every week, oh no. Nah. Nah, I love my comfort. Nah, no, nah, nah. I love my comfort too much. Mm -mm. Let me know. Do you guys go camping? How's it like? That's right. <laughs> All your hair's matted to you. Like, <laughs> like, stink of smoke and sweat, you know. <laughs> you get an old sleeping bag and put it around your shoulders. You just start wandering around the camp. <laughs> See another camp over there. I'll go over to that other camp. Go, hello, hello. We've run out of gas bottles on our camp. <laughs> Any chance of a cup of tea? <laughs> Can I have one of them club biscuits, please? <laughs> if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join the club. Hey, well done. That was good, Pete. The best so far. Now, Things get so bad that rumours start to spread that there's going to be a Waitrose airdrop. <laughs> UNICEF have called in Waitrose. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be quinoa. Quinoa's turning up. <laughs> there's going to be artichokes, mass, a chilli and red. <laughs> it's hell. To add insult to injury, right, a couple of days before we left, my wife pulled me to one side, she said, babe, I'm just going to mark your card. There'll be no rumpy pumpy on the camping holiday, okay? <laughs> Put it out of your mind, it's not going to happen. No. I turned and said, what, you're going to be on the blob, are you? <laughs> of course I did, and what sort of man says that in 2017? <laughs> are you going to be on the blob? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. You heard it all the time. Men would come in the pub looking a little bit exasperated. Pooh, I've had to get out the ass. She's got the fucking painters in indoors. <laughs> we having some decorating done. No, she's on the blubber indoors. She's fucking driving me mental. You young girls don't realise how lucky you are to have these lovely modern boyfriends, caring, understanding. <laughs> yeah, they, they'll be in the pub having a drink and suddenly they say, look, I have to go, I have to go. My partner's menstruating. <laughs> the least I can do is be there with her during this dark, dark time. I've told her it's not her period, it's our period. Okay, share it with me, sister. Yeah, I keep her supplied with paracetamol and hot water bottles. She's allowed to verbally abuse me whenever she likes. She can punch me on the back of the head if that helps out. Yeah, as long as I'm there with her. Now, I didn't say that you're going to be on the blob. I said, no, babe, no, no sex on the holiday. So she said, no, it's the least romantic holiday in the world, putting it out of your mind. I thought, this is a challenge. 
She wants me to serenade around the campfire. I'll make a flute out of a twig. She can kill with a smile, she can woo me around. And she'll carelessly cut you and laugh while you're dying. But she's always a woman to me. Anyway, it didn't happen. This is what happened. Second night, right? Sex ban, apparently. I wake up. I'm laying here. My wife's opposite me. She's crouched over like this, right? It's about four in the morning. The first bit of light's coming in. She's like that, right? And she's got a long white plastic bag hanging between her legs. It's called a shiwi or a travel john, right? I said, there's various names. She's not sure if I'm awake or not, right? But she's looking to see if I am. The thing is, I am. <laughs> so for about a minute, she stared at me while she filled this bag up with piss. <laughs> and I was staring at her, and it was getting fatter and fuller, and, it, and her legs started going where she... <laughs> she started swinging in my face, this big bag of piss. I said, babe, I don't know if we're ever going to have sex again. I can't get this piss bag out of my mind. Oh, you are, or where you are? Oh, God, that was quality, that was quality. I've only started, you know, watching this guy like a month ago, and I'm absolutely loving him every single time. If you guys want to check out more, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.